Forgive the technology, it's, it's very much a, a sort of my DIY attempts to using technology. So I currently have um, a sort of makeshift tripod with a, with, um, a webcam attached to it. Um, unfortunately, to be able to video some of the things that I'm going to show you today, we're going to have to move the camera around, so forgive that. We're going to be looking at drawing a still life, but um, using, using a grid, and a grid for um, the background to a still life, and also um, a grid on the paper that you're going to use. Now, this, the grid will facilitate you actually seeing the shapes. So just bear with me, I'm going to have to move the, um, the tripod around. Oh, there we go. So here, as you can see, I've used, um, I actually used a marker pen and um, I've used um, a ruler to rule a number of even squares. And what I've done is I've numbered each one of these squares. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc., etc., and the actual image is actually framed against these these numbers. Um, so I can move that a little bit closer. Um, I've also I don't know if you can see this. Can you see that my paper is also numbered one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, et cetera, et cetera. So it corresponds with, um, with the background. Now the background itself measures, uh, the squares measure, what's it, three, three inches, old, old money, old measurements, three inches. Each one of those squares measures three by three. Now the squares on the paper can be any size. As long as they're even and you can you can basically make them any size you like so I think these measure two by two these squares I think so let's have a look yes two inches by two inches on the ruler now I've ruled the lines quite thickly and I've done that purposely because I actually want you to be able to see what I'm, I'm doing. Um, normally, I wouldn't roll these, roll these lines very, very thickly at all. So um, without further ado, I'm going to show you what I would do if I actually started to draw by using these two corresponding grids. 